You guys voted for it. We are here with episode one of Uncut Hunts, where we are going to have very minimal editing in this video, making it a long form video of at least 30 minutes, probably even more at some points. But uh, who knows what this episode will be as it is the first one. We're still kind of getting used to everything. But today's topic is going to be uh, things that we'd love to see in Call of the Wild that will probably never get added because of one reason or another. We're joined by Brobra and we are just going to hunt around on Yukon while we chat and uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. So things that we'd love to see in Call of the Wild but will probably never be added. What do you think was one of those things, Brobra? Mounted combat. Mounted combat. Um, yeah. So are you talking about... I mean, I'm not going to say what I'm thinking, but uh, are you talking about, like, mounted machine guns? No, no, I, let's not get, let's not get, uh, let's not get out of pocket with this, Crow. No, 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 no. Nothing so crass. I'm talking, I'm talking, like, being able to shoot while riding on a four-wheeler. And now... I'm not saying be able to fire a 300 Magnum with one hand while driving the four-wheeler because that's just a little bit much. I'm thinking, like, if you're driving the four-wheeler, if you're driving the four-wheeler, maybe just the Glock, right? You can use the Glock and bow, bow, bow as you go by. I mean, like, I feel like that'd be a very effective way to hunt wolves. I mean, that could be interesting. It, it could. Or, Don't get me wrong. Now... This could this is a little bit of a two-parter because you could do multiple people like two people on an ATV. The one on the back, they have two hands free. They can fire with the rifle off the back of the ATV. The other person's driving. You could do full herd calling. You know what I mean? You could just do full. You could like round them up and take them down. You know, I feel like that's probably. I feel like that'd just at least be super. I mean, I could see, like, the secondary person being able to do it. Can you even put two people on an ATV? I actually don't no, know if you can. You can't, and that's why I said it'd be, like, a little bit of a two-parter. Okay, okay. Well, how, how about insti first. instead of doing that, how about they add a different vehicle into the game, like a UTV similar to Way of the Hunter, and uh, that way you can just sit in the passenger seat and you can do that. Oh, there is foxes oh. all over this place. Holy... I completely missed that shot, but you know what? It is what it is. But yeah, I, I could see, like, if they added a UTV into the game, I could see that working out then, but I don't I don't think it would work with the ATV. I mean, maybe. They'd have to kind of redesign the way the ATV looks so it could have, a, like, a two seats for people, but... Yeah. I mean... Definitely something that could be interesting. Yeah, you probably couldn't do it with the ATV, but yeah, a different vehicle. Just put a different vehicle in, you know? And then fire off the side of that bad boy. Imagine running down a bison herd, you know, as they're all <laughs> running, and you're just—it's like it'd just be like the old west, right? You're on the you're on the train, and they're firing the rifles off the train into the bison herd. You could do that, but in Call of the Wild on like a UTV, right? I mean, I could see—I could definitely see that being fun. I don't think—I don't—I don't know if it'd be practical, but I mean, to be fair, that's kind of what this video is about—is things that wouldn't be practical but could you know, be interesting. It, that's pretty much how the bison went like extinct, but uh, so I guess perhaps not super ethical either, but it would be super fun. Yeah, it would be interesting. And uh, one of the things that a lot of people talk about that would be kind of fun in uh, Call of the Wild that really isn't like a super realistic for a hunting game is uh, like a Barrett 50 cal semi-automatic rifle. Like, you could just lay flat literally anything in the entire game. You go up to a Cape Buffalo and just put one shot into it and boom, there it goes. It's dead. And, like, it, you know what's crazy? In real life, people actually do use 50 cals for some things, given it's not a lot. Like, I've seen videos of people shooting a white-tailed deer with a 50 cal, and that white tail just completely disintegrates in front of them. It, it's honestly kind of crazy to watch. That's wild. I don't know if it would ever be added just because of the fact that, you know, 50 cals are not necessarily seen as a hunting cartridge in many cases. Also, where did... Wait, did you kill that? Did you kill that moose? Moose? I, I just saw hunting moose. pressure appear. 
I didn't shoot a moose. I shot a caribou. <laughs> well, I guess you killed that caribou. <laughs> But yeah, like I see so many requests for a uh, bear at 50 cal and like I, I just couldn't see it coming to the game Like it's yeah. it's a semi-automatic rifle that would be more powerful than anything else in the game Not to mention it's not really used for hunting that much, but like uh, I, I can't lie. It would be fun Like would I, be fun. I would totally have a blast with that. It's like it's like uh, blast and turkeys with the 470 nitro <laughs> Yeah, it's just not fair to them and also, I think just in general, like the, the, the 50 cal, the Barrett 50 cal to be precise, 50 BMG, like, uh, it's really, it's not used for hunting too often. You get some, vi you get a few viral videos on YouTube of like a whitetail getting flattened by one, but to be honest, it's not really something people use due to the fact that, I mean, a Barrett's like, what, 10 grand, 10 to 15,000, at least it was a couple of years ago when I looked at them. So it's not a feasible thing to get for most people and uh, it's also a little bit overkill for a lot of species and in most cases like if you're going for something in like Africa let's say you're gonna go for something that's a little bit more catered towards those animals like a 460 or a 470 or like a 375 H&H &H, like something like that a 700 nitro if you're going for something like elephants but a 50 BMG I just don't really I don't really yeah. see those getting used often, so I couldn't see them adding it. Could be fun, though. Yes, exactly. It could be fun. And that's kind of the whole point of this, I guess. I'm kind of losing track yeah. of the whole topic. Yeah, it could be fun. I mean, semi-automatic 50 cal, I could drop like a whole herd of whitetail in a few seconds, which would be pretty insane. <laughs> Especially because it's just pixel whitetail. You know, no, they're not they're just pixels at the end of the day. Not real whitetail. Never condone that. Never condone that. But yeah, you're gonna you're gonna lose like half the meat if you shoot a white tail with a 50 cal in real life. Exactly. Like, yeah, good luck salvaging the any of the meat around where you shot it. But um, another thing that I was thinking would be really fun is have Bigfoot in the game. Now, I don't think you can make it to where Bigfoot could be shot. I I don't know if you could do that. I think it would be best if if you're gonna have Bigfoot in the game. I think the best way to do that would be to uh, make it so like he appears like as like rare as a great one, right? But like see him like you can only like see him in passing, you know, like up on the mountains or something. And every time you like pull out your camera, take a picture, it gets like really grainy and hazy, and the picture quality is never very good. Um, I think that would be super <laughs> cool. That would actually be hilarious. Like, uh, we, we've talked about this before in the past, you and I, and like, I definitely think it'd be really cool just to see like a, like a Bigfoot have the spawn rate of a great one, but like it spawns from literally anything you could kill and it doesn't get tied to need zones. So it just roams around and like coinciding with your idea of pictures being fuzzy and like, you don't really get to see it too often. Like that, that would make it really cool if you did get a chance to actually get close to him. That would really make it like a big thing in the community. It'd be cool. Like he could also like not only like just roam around, but like stay like towards the edges of the map. So like he's on the edges of the reserve. So you don't really like when you see him, you don't have a whole lot of opportunity to get to him or get close to him. Right. And so he could just take off into the, in the outskirts of the map, you know? And then you could like see him running off into the bush outside of the map and like where you couldn't chase him. That'd be kind of Oh, okay. So I, I, I was confused a little bit. I thought you were talking about he would just like walk the borders of the map, but if he's going out of the map, yeah, that would make it tough to actually get a good look at him. Well, I'm saying he could be in the map too. But like maybe well, he's yeah. walking maybe he's walking the outskirts of the map. So like anytime you try to get close, like he doesn't have to go, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? A level five caribou just ran into me. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh my gosh, that's insane. I just hit the replay <laughs> buffer. Okay, well, I'm gonna head over to you. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna sure. see what's going on over there. You can continue your story, but. I'm dying. <laughs> what the heck? A level five caribou just ran into me. I mean, we already know it's not a diamond. 
caribou don't make diamond. Yeah. Oh, do I have to tab out? Hit the replay buffer. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, replay buffer okay. is only for when you're streaming. Oh, okay, so I won't be able to. If you're recording that. right now, then it'll record that, obviously. No. But yeah, replay buffer is only for when you're live streaming. Nope. So uh, yeah. Um, well, uh, I'll show you the. Uh... I mean, I'm gonna head over right now. We can track that thing down. Yeah. But anyway, back to the Bigfoot conversation. Where were you at before you got mauled by a caribou? You're one of the um, few people that can say they got mauled by a caribou, by the way. I know. Like, what the heck, man? I'm by the level five <laughs> at that. Um, I, I don't even know. I'm totally thrown off. I got... I got mauled by a diamond potential caribou. <laughs> you, you, were, you were talking about how Bigfoot could, like, walk around the outskirts, but he could also be in the main part of the map, and that's uh, when you got ran over. Yeah, so, like, he could be, like, on the outskirts, so, like, you could get close enough, like, to kind of, like, see him and everything, but if you try to, like, chase him down, he's going to pop out the out of the boundary, so you'll never actually be able to get him. And I think, like, I don't know, if you tried to shoot him... Uh, if you try to shoot him, it could be like a situation where he, um, like your gun jams. Like you hear a click, click, click every time you like aim over him. Maybe and your doesn't... character does like a like a voice line, like, oh, huh. we almost had him. Yeah. But yeah, of course, he like lives that. to fight another day. Yeah. Sounds like every time, you know, like another this, little line. It never fails. The yeah. guns never perform when you need them to. It's like he ain't of this earth. <laughs> Something He's like an otherworldly being, and we just cannot comprehend how he works. And apparently, neither our firearms can. Okay. Um. So yeah, where did this thing go? I see caribou over there, but it's definitely not a five. No, it's not any of those. He went. He went into the woods that way, though. He like went around behind where those spotted. Okay, were. we gotta find him soon. Then, like, there's no way that he ran too far. Uh, to no, be honest, I have... like, I'm wondering if I should loop around the other side. This is his. This is his track right here. If you wanna, this poop right here. If you wanna oh move yes, in. I will go ahead and grab his poop. Yeah, just take a handful. Yeah, just that little, that'll really poop. let us know where he's been. Yep, just do a little scooperino there. Mmm, okay. Yeah, that's caribou. That hold on. Level five. Yep, that's level five caribou. See? Okay. I mean there's a certain consistency, texture, and also warmth to a level five caribou's poop. I mean I guess I should be recording. I didn't think I was gonna need to record, but like you're gonna need like that happens again. I might have to record these these conversations. I mean, it's fine. I don't mind either way. Oh man, I'm gonna skate run over by diamond potential animal. I see a couple level threes, but I don't see the five. We'll just keep searching around. I might have lost the track already. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, it's one of these here. I spotted a I spotted a bear and then didn't find the I, I don't know if I found the right track again yeah I spotted that bear after you spotted it so oh man well this one's got to be it this is the only uh max weight estimate caribou track given like 99% of caribou or max weight estimate that actually might have been him that just called or was that a moose I think that was a moose <laughs> I don't even know at this point I haven't been paying attention I've been too thrown off by the whole like uh like <laughs> the conversations we've been having I, I suppose this is where I should interject with like something I'd like to see into the game, but I can't really th think of. I mean, <laughs> I let, okay, let's just rip the Band-Aid off. I see this comment so much. RPGs. <laughs> RPGs in Call of the Wild. What would happen if they added RPGs? <laughs> uh... Obviously, they never would, but can you just imagine seeing a herd of 20 whitetail and you just aim in the dead center of that herd? And they just you 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 pull the trigger. That it impacts be... the ground in front of them, and all twenty of them fly into the air. That would be I don't even know. I don't even know if I. That would be incredible. Number one, I it'd be ridiculous too. Okay, but it's so like I get it. 
mounted combat's a ridiculous concept for Call of the Wild. I get that as well. Mounted combat can, plus RPG, though. It's still more... I can still picture that a little bit easier than an RPG. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe, like, um... I don't know. Do people use drones for hunting, like like spots? Yeah, yeah. Dr drones are used a hundred percent. That that is something that gets used. People do use drones for hunting. So that's not that's not super out there. So how about a drone that shoots missiles though? I mean, it could even be. It doesn't have to shoot missiles. Like it could just shoot like. All right, hold on, hold on. We've got some boo over here. Do you see that five though? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I see the caribou. I got a feeling that five is going to be gone for a good bit. And they were I can't believe you weren't too. even recording. What are you doing? I know. I took a screenshot of it, though. I count? Well, I hit that three. He's going down. There's another three way over there. I don't actually see anything too notable. Like, you get run over by a five, and all we can find to shoot is threes. Right. What is this? I, have you kept the track of that five? No, because I spotted that bear after you spotted it. I, I, I haven't either. Track. I've spotted, like, seven other caribou. <laughs> I have no idea oh, which no. one is even his track. I mean, I suppose I could reset the time, but... I, I bet he was drinking. Okay, so I got hit at there. So I bet they were drinking at this, like, the Y-shaped lake. The Y-shaped lake? Yeah. Oh. I bet, okay. I bet, they, I bet they were drinking there. Or, I Maybe. don't know. I don't know. Where to they be were. honest, That's they were really probably drinking away. at the one that we're next to now. You might but have just, he... like, spooked him as he was traveling to his zone. Oh, yeah, is it early enough to where they would have been going to their zone? I mean, anytime that you reset the time, some of them are going to be moving in while others will already be there. So because I had just reset the time, there's a good chance that it was still in travel. Okay. There we go. Nice little level three. We got right lung, liver, and stomach. Not too bad. I'll take it. I wish we could find that five, though. I bet... I bet we can. We'll find him. We'll make sure that we find him. Uh, how close? Okay, there's a tent really close. I can go back and just change the time. Should I go back to where I was? Um, yeah, why not? Might as well. Let's we'll right. do a quick little time reset to uh, 657 and see if it brings it back over to this lake. I mean, to be fair, I don't even know if it's supposed to be at this lake. You're right. There's, oh. there's moose over here. This is where I found uh, that albino four. Oh, nice. Moose. I'm not getting the call from these. Like I'm hearing the call, but not getting the the icon or like the cone. Not indicator. getting the tracking cone. Yeah, that the call indicator. Yeah, I didn't get that either. I I guess it's just venting to us then. Yeah. Not, not actually, actually calling. Not actually showing us where it is. It's just venting its feelings. Yeah, so he might. Would he come back this way, maybe? Since he was traveling that way already? It's possible. Oh, is that him? Yeah, it's him. That's him. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. No way. Oh, there my is. gosh. There's no way I just spotted him. Oh my gosh, he's nervous, but yeah, he's right across the water. You can get lined up, Robra. You found him, so that's yours. Oh heck yeah, I don't have a diamond. He's is he he's not guaranteed. Yeah, the, is he? the only the only uh no, he's not guaranteed at all. <laughs> he's in fact I think that is a troll rack. No. But the only thing I ask is that you let me enter the trophy screen and then back out of it so I can oh. see him. Absolutely. I got to get a little bit of a better angle, but that is a beautiful looking caribou. Yeah, I don't, yeah, that's definitely not a diamond, I don't think. The one I have currently spotted, oh, not that one, but 
Uh, him. There he is. That's the five. If you want, I can do the 22 trick and try to get his attention. Yeah, let me get down towards you a little bit. Yeah, if you come over here, that's like 180 away. Which is pretty much perfect for taking a shot. Yep, I got the 308, the new 308 on me too. That does nice. really well. I'd have really liked the accuracy on the new 308. You know, somebody was telling me in the comments today that uh, it's actually got better penetration than the AR-308. Oh, I, I think that's absolutely true. Yeah, I mean, and the, they were using that as their whole argument to justify that it's better than the AR-308. I I mean, probably not for grinding. But no, for, no, definitely not. But for, like, accurate, powerful shots, I definitely think this new 308's it. Like, for grinding, if exactly, you're going to grind... Yeah. Definitely the 308, but this one... I've yeah, because really... the 308 AR, like, you really can't get a quick follow-up shot with a bolt action. Like, mm -hmm. it, let, let's say I'm looking at a herd of whitetail. If I'm using the 308 bolt action, there's no way I kill two out of one zone. But with the yeah. AR, I could kill two and maybe even three if I'm quick enough. Yeah, no, the, but this this has been just lights out. I've hit I had a couple 300-meter uh, shots on... Um, on walking mountain lines before you uh, came back and i mean you know me that that's, <laughs> that's a feat for me like, <laughs> that is definitely a feat for you like that is not something that i can do very easily i mean that's that guy's giving you a really good shot dude he's not even I, you about ready yeah just go for it take the shot whenever you want to beautiful is he going down yeah he's going down really quickly I don't see him going down. Just... He just oh. died. Oh, okay. He's dead. <laughs> nice one, man. Nice it was one. Sick. It was staying at 75 to 100 for me. That's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, it died. Ooh, it died almost me. immediately. But yeah, That's that crazy. that comment was on one of my live streams where I was grinding and I was talking about grinding weapons. Like I was talking about the best uh, the best weapons for like grinding whitetail, and and that that was the comment I got under it was that. Uh, the 308 bolt act they were like, don't listen to what this guy says. The 308 bolt action actually has more penetration and is better than the 308 AR. And I, I was like, well, hold on. It really depends on how you're looking at things. You could see penetration as being a better thing, but if, if the 308 AR still has good enough penetration to kill them on the spot with a double lung, then speed would probably end up being better if you're grinding. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for me, you know me, I'm not a big grinder, so I have to make, and you know me, I, I I sometimes miss shots. I don't know if anybody who's ever watched your content knows that. Um, oh, or I'm mine. sure we do. <laughs> <laughs> I tend miss, to miss shots, shots are regular. <laughs> I tend to miss shots pretty often um, just because I, I I like to have fun and I, I don't take like, uh, I don't practice like seriously or I haven't really played, you know, professionally to make content, so... I only have like 400 PC hours and then probably like two, 300 PlayStation hours. So um, I still miss shots quite a bit. So don't feel bad if you miss shots. Um, it's perfectly and, natural. And so is he going to troll? Is he going to troll? Know. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I won't. I it. won't tell you. I will let the viewers see, but I won't tell you. Oh man! So the, having the three out being so accurate and so powerful is super. Um, it's super super helpful for me. So I really I really like it. Go ahead and claim it whenever you want. Oh no! It's not letting me claim it. Oh no! Is that is that possibly to do with the fact that you didn't see its health going down? Are you disconnected from the server without it actually showing you disconnected? No, I still have 124 ping to you. Um, let me hit E on it again, then escape. Sometimes pulling your camera out will help. Pull the okay. camera out and then put the camera away. Um, you can also try backing up really far and then walking back up to it. Yeah, that should be good. 
If that doesn't work, the other thing you can try is fast traveling and then just drive an ATV over here. Oh no. Okay, I'll fast travel. Yeah, oh, you can no. try that. Do you want do you want the spoilers on whether or not it made it? It didn't make it, did it? No, it was really okay. far off. <laughs> oh, okay. It was no, 412 and 430 okay. is diamond. <laughs> okay, okay. Go ahead and take it. That's fine. Go ahead. Okay, and yeah. 412.75 diamond is 430.23. <laughs> so it was really oh. far off of diamond. Um, to be honest, I think you're really bugged because it shows that you shot it through its butt and into one lung and all you hit was flesh and lung. So it's really bugged. And my dog is doing circles. Okay, yeah, you're you're having multiplayer problems. Okay, backing out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well. <laughs> oh, you funny. hate to see it, but it is what it is. And uh, to be honest, I think that's probably going to be <laughs> the end of this episode. But honestly, I, I think this was a fun first episode. This I actually really enjoyed this. And I think... The majority of the people watching will probably enjoy this as well. I get a lot of requests for more simplified, just casual hunts like this. And a lot of requests for just like, I guess like rambling about stuff in the game and what we think could happen or uh, stuff we'd like to see but may never happen. Like, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I did. <laughs> I don't, was, I supposed to, was I supposed to say something? You know, I was hoping you would. But... <laughs> um, I'm no I normally just wait. I just normally wait for you to finish. Um, thanks, guys. <laughs> I had a lot of fun, even though I almost died to a troll level five caribou. Um, that made me very sad. But uh, I'm happy that we did this. It was a lot of fun. Uh, let us know. Let us know if you guys think of anything else that's kind of funny that you guys think would be fun to put in the game. And also, let us know what you want to see in future episodes of Uncut Hunts. It's a bit of a different video format, and I'll probably only do one of these a week, if that. So, it's all dependent on whether or not you guys like this. If you like it, then we'll do one of these every single week. If not, then it might be slightly less, but we'll definitely continue doing it. Because I know uh, not everybody likes the grinding videos. Not everybody likes the, uh, like, testing videos. Some of you just want to see some hunting. So, that's what we're going to start doing. But I appreciate everybody watching, and uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Peace! And now Brober says peace. Uh, uh, peace punch, Captain Crunch. I don't know. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>